Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Citadel being pressured by the SEC, shorts running out of margin, and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. Now, straight away, we're going to be taking a look at how Citadel is being pressured by the SEC. What we've got is basically an article which says Citadel Securities and a trade group sued the Securities and Exchange Commission on Tuesday over the changes the regulator is making to how trading data are reported and paid for in the markets. Now, this is actually very, very big news because this actually concerns us as well as the new model actually got to do with short positions as well. So essentially what they're scared of, what Citadel is scared of is the new system called the CAT system, which again is looking at the consolidated audit trail. That's what it is. And what it is, is we have covered this in the past before, but what it is, is essentially all the positions and the short positions will be reported as previously they won't be reported, but now it's actually out in the open. So the action was in response to widespread investors' concern about transparency, governance, cost, and data privacy. A Citadel security spokesperson said in an email statement, the SEC has overstepped its statutory authority and failed to address investor and in industry con and concerns leaving us no choice but to litigate essentially what we have with the system is obviously showing the transparency of everything in the market now that exactly goes against citadels uh and what they do obviously we know with even when we talk about everything else if we just forget about all of that and just talk about one of the factors which it covers again the short positions even if we look at that we know that citadel is not happy with that and just like we can see about how saying leaving us no choice but to litigate so now we know that they are extremely scared of what is happening you know we've got bigham saying they are scared of the cat system the fact it tracks the life cycle of a trade has customer id broker id and venue ids attached to the trades along the date and time signs scares the shit out of them along with the new auction system gary wants it plays kenny is scared and again you know we have looked at this in the past about how no long they can no longer hide their short positions they actually have to you know again show it all and what that means for amc is obviously everyone's wondering about you know how much is a firm truly shorting amc how much naked shorts are there for amc what we will have with this new system in place is obviously all of that exposed and they are extremely scared of what's to come and that's why they're taking action against this now what we have to understand is obviously if we are able to fully get this in if there is no stopping the system is very likely to get, be getting more transparency in the market now is this the nail uh you know the final nail i don't think it is because again at the end of the day there is always so much more corrupt ways for these firms to get away with things but definitely it's a step forward and definitely will have an effect in the market as we see companies like citadel and other trade groups who are obviously taking a stand against this the fact that they are doing so means that it is of course very very useful and again we will be able to get more transparency in the market with this new um, consolidated audit trail model in place now the second thing is taking a look at how shorts are starting to run out of margin now in our last few videos um especially the two previously again guys go check out if you haven't already we talked about the reverse repo we talked about in one video how the moment reverse repo runs out we'll be seeing the moas and how the reverse repo is obviously you know stopping the moas how the reverse repo is allowing these short firms to be continuously still in the amc shorts and again double down and create and finance more shorts essentially um if you guys want a more detailed explanation obviously go check out the previous videos but a quick explanation is what we have to understand is reverse repo is basically an easier way for these firms for these shorts to get money to finance their large shorts but as we see the reverse so that's how they are obviously able to finance the shorts now as we see the reverse repo going down as they see that if they run out of reverse repo obviously what it means is that they have less ways of getting collaterals they have less ways of getting loans and they will have to use other means of assets to be used as collaterals to then finance their large shorts and again that is not going to be as good as reverse repo 
So now understanding that, we then can understand why it is that shorts are running out of margin. So what we can be seeing is that reverse repo about to fall under a trill for the first time since 2021. Now bear in mind that the reverse repo really begun when the whole situation happened with the buy button being removed, with AMC jumping all the way to $72. That's when the reverse repo really started happening and that's what they needed. But as we see everything that's happening right now, they are slowly running out of money. The reverse repo is actually going Going down and we are seeing it go down and uh, you know further down day by day and that's extremely extremely good for us because this is something that has allowed these shorts to obviously get away with financing their shorts with double down on their shorts with just even holding on their shorts because of the reverse repo but now as we see the money going down as we see the reverse repo going down what it means for us is that they are starting to run out of margin it's going to become to a point where they will have to liquidate their positions or find other collaterals meaning that they'll have to liquidate other positions as well which again all leads to the end goal of the moas happening for amc so that's what we're looking at with the reverse repo going down now, this is something that has been talked about and I want to quickly uh, cover it as well, which is the brokers never completed their AMC conversion and reverse split on the back end. Accounts show the conversion and reverse split number of shares via the front end IT platform. The eight QSIPs are still actively trading over these. So, you know, when we take a look at this again, we have actually seen this in the past in um, the real European region where we've seen actually ape is still being traded now you know what we've seen again with um, other piece of information as well which has now not been covered is never been you know proven that it has actually been completed on the back end because what we saw um, even um as we uh if we backtrack a few months ago as we saw the conversion was that whilst they have said that the conversion was happening and it has happened what we've seen was obviously the data which shown the conversion has naturally in fact not happened and again we saw the eight qsits being traded overseas but you know going fast um fast forward to where we are now we've never actually seen proof in the back end that it has been covered but nor have we seen the fact that it you know it hasn't been covered and so when we take a look at this this is something i want to cover quickly i'm curious to what everyone thinks but again it's just another you know thing to be looking at in terms of what is adding up for the moas of amc now you know more on to how firms are thinking of amc more onto you know just understanding the news around amc what we see is at least they got one thing right amc is definitely a former meme stock it's a fundamentally improved company now not a meme put some respect on the name where well, we've seen an article which talks about amc's cash burn story is not going to have a happy ending now for those of you who want to take a look at this article, what we have seen in this article is that they've never given any, you know, solid evidence of how AMC is truly burning their cash. We've never seen, you know, what they is saying by having AMC to go bad. And, you know, we've seen how AMC is improving fundamentally. So when we take a look at this piece of news, we know that again, it is just another way for them to create panic, to create fear on AMC. What we can see from AMC right now is despite everything that is happening, despite all the good news, you're continuously seeing bad news on AMC. You're continuously, and again, very, very important to note, you're seeing news that is incentivizing you to sell AMC. So when you put this in perspective, when you really understand this, why is it that you're only seeing news which isn't just talking bad about AMC? It isn't, you know, every company has its pros, has its cons. Every company will have somewhere where they're doing bad. And again, you know, that could be said, be said the same thing about AMC. The AMC definitely has areas where it can improve. However, highlighting it is one point, but only talking about the bad news and then making you sell AMC, that's a completely different story. Why is it that they want you to sell your AMC if not for the fact they are scared for themselves and they want to buy into AMC? You know, something that we need to be looking at is, and again, we I've actually covered this on the channel as well. A lot of people are posting this picture. This doesn't include 120 million in pre-sales for Taylor Swift. This actually puts us top seven in distribution in one weekend and at 200 million plus. We will end top three to four on the year on two movies. This will attract other content next year. This will also attract real movies like a Megapolis. And this will be a massive revenue sources um, going forward. So what we have to understand is AMC is in a extremely, extremely good position. And what we have achieved will put us into an even better position. So again, if we go back to what we say earlier, 
AMC Cashman story is not going to have a happy ending. AMC is not going to have good fundamental, etc., etc. All of these things will be proven false when we see AMC obviously improve as we see them, you know, get everything in place, get everything together, and continuously to have more revenue sources. If we take a look at, you know, what's happening, well, 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 check out Equitec loading up on AMC call positions. Look at their call to put ratio. Take a look at this picture. The market value is obviously 2.3 million, whereas the put value is only 131,000. So, you know, what it is, is that we are seeing more and more firms obviously extremely bullish on AMC. Now, again, this is an option. This is an in shares, which is still slightly different. But when we take a look at their ratio, we obviously know they are seeing more of a bullish movement from AMC. And again, why is it that firms are buying into AMC, whether it's put, uh, calls, whether it's shares? You know, why is it they are buying into AMC, but yet we are seeing news which is telling you to sell your AMC shares? So again, think of that and really understand what's happening. You guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.